The lunatic who attacked his victims with a hammer has a disturbing past. David Barrel posted this drawing of a bloody hammer on his Instagram page. And this photo wearing a camo mask with a scary message, destroy all life on this planet. The 30 year old suffers from schizophrenia and paranoia. He had been living at a homeless shelter on 113th street. David Barrow lived with his mother in this apartment building in the Riverdale section of the Bronx. Detectives came here on Tuesday looking for him, but his mother had been evicted in March. He was a violent boy. Donald Feldman calls Barrel and his mother the neighbors from hell. Did you ever notice that David might be mentally ill? Absolutely. One day David went running out of the building screaming, my head's on fire, my head's on fire. He was then hospitalized. Feldman showed me some of Barrel's bizarre behavior. He would stand like that for a long period of time. The wild rampage started Monday at 1.45 p.m. when Barrel attacked a 20-year-old man near Herald Square. Then at 5.10 p.m., a woman walking near Madison Square Park was hit on the head with a hammer. 7.30 p.m., a 28-year-old woman sitting on a bench in Union Square was attacked. Ten minutes later, Barrel was captured on surveillance video walking behind a 33-year-old woman and her boyfriend on 17th Street. Out of nowhere, this happened. A random attack from behind is in, in itself primitive, whereby you, you don't see it coming. The attacker sees you, you don't see him, and before you know it, you're involved in something very serious. The attacks came to a dramatic end on Wednesday morning at the corner of 8th Avenue and West 37th Street. Barrel had been identified via facial recognition software and two cops recognized him. Barrel took out his hammer and swung at Officer Lauren O'Rourke, striking her three times. Her partner, Officer Geraldo Cassane, shot the suspect. He is expected to survive. The hammer attacks terrifying Manhattan are over.